Hi, my name is Bruno and I'm an actor here in the Philippines. Um, if you're from the Philippines then, or from Dominican Republic, or from Ecuador, you probably see me on TV. And uh, if you're from elsewhere, um, probably I know you in real life, or you've just seen me online. So to everybody watching this video, welcome. Please subscribe and I'll be making a lot of videos. So why am I on YouTube right now? Before I've done anything for TV or you know anything else, I, I've always been a follower of YouTube. I've been watching videos probably close to day one and uh, there was a time when people on YouTube started doing video logs which today you now call vlogs such as this one. Some of these people would run their own shows and I love it. I, I found it very fascinating that people with their own cameras would just be able to create a show on their own um, and just post it online and people would actually watch it like how they would watch things on TV such as myself I'd, I'd watch that every day you know one of my favorite people on YouTube is Ray William Johnson now uh, well there are many reasons why I have come to work as an actor eventually but I guess one of the main reasons why I've gotten into this sort of thing is probably him. I was a big fan of his show. He started a show called Equals 3 where he would um, review viral videos that would come out around uh, once or twice a week and I would wait for that show every day or all the time. I'd wait for the next episode. I'm always excited about it. I even went to Hot Topic to buy his t-shirts and I actually still have them right now. I could wear them anymore because they're too old but I just keep it as a souvenir. Just to remind me of... Just to remind me of how um, things started out with I guess my relationship with the camera, you know? Um, eventually I have gotten so into cameras. I have tried to vlog since forever. I've tried to vlog since I was a teenager. I asked my dad to get me a video camera, just like these people on YouTube do. And I would just, you know, try to make something, try to make a show. And honestly, they've never <laughs> really, <laughs> it's either they never passed my standards uh, or or I don't know, I just thought they weren't good enough. Uh, my dad took me to Best Buy. He got me a camcorder uh, and I got the one with a built-in memory, like of a huge hard drive in the camera. Actually, I could see it right now on, on the drive box over here. Uh, and that's where I started out. Um, eventually, Ray, this guy, uh, made the first vlog I have ever seen uh, in his online show, or I guess I could say it's a vlog called Breaking NYC, and it's just basically him um, outside of his host persona, just vlogging every day of his life in New York, and then eventually he moved to LA, then it became Breaking LA. I, I was a huge fan of that, and I've been checking out everybody on YouTube, like Smosh, Julian Smith, uh, I mean, Cass and G, uh, the OGs, right? Uh, these guys are basically the reason why I've gotten into this stuff. Uh, eventually, things on YouTube had gotten more cinematic, you know, and I've come to discover that, oh, cool, like you can actually make something that looks like a movie on the internet. You know, that's pretty cool. And nowadays, you actually can watch everything that exists just through your phone or something and yeah I 
have grown up on the internet. Pretty much everything that I am today are probably internet influenced more than TV. I've almost never watched anything on TV, you know? Um, yeah. Right. Let's reply to this message. So yeah, from that camcorder, I um, just shot everything I could shoot, try to make it nice, and the first videos I shot were crap, and it's too bad, because I was in some really nice places traveling the world. Then eventually, GoPro came out, you know, they had their, their second model, I think the first model was pretty massive actually. Then like um, the hero, then the hero two, then you know I bought those because I thought it was amazing how a camera this small, like even smaller than this, you know, would be able to shoot something at a high resolution. I thought that was amazing, you know, something finally something better than a, than a phone camera, better than a handy cam. Then I found some of my dad's. Uh, DSLRs at home, and he was into this whole buying cameras sort of thing. Uh, probably <laughs> something I got from him because, like, during the quarantine, and I've done nothing but buy lenses and buy cameras. And if you follow me on Twitter, you you could just scroll back and you could see the things I've been buying. Right, I, I didn't even post everything because <laughs> I don't know. I think it, it just looks bad if I just buy everything. But I've been buying a lot. You know, mm. as the years went by from my teenage years, apart from everything that I do, basically, like sports and stuff, I just shot videos of everything. And then eventually schools uh, required uh, the students to make videos. I uh, and I actually played dibs on being the director. And then I just made videos and videos and videos in school. And then, like, I actually won um, awards at a school level, at a uh, high school, university level of um, shooting videos. And that sort of gave me the confidence. And that sort of was a discovery for me that, oh, I actually have this sort of creativity within me, um, in my head or in my system, that I could actually create stories through something that we could see. So eventually, and this is the showbiz story, and I've probably said this a bunch of times in interviews, but um, uh, eventually there's just one person I know who uh, manages me today. I've met him like years ago whom I know is in the industry, in the showbiz industry, and I just decided to call him one day uh, and said, hey, can you help me look for an apprenticeship for uh, directing and filmmaking in the industry because I'm interested. And then he was like, hey, you know what, while you're young uh, and you're still looking pretty fresh yourself, uh, you could start acting. You could, you know, it would help you understand uh, how the actors were thinking, you know, as a director. And it's also very easy for you to sort of have things your way if you're a, uh, not just a famous, but a decorated actor, right? So I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. And uh, a couple years went by. I have studied acting uh, thoroughly, actually, I gave a lot of my soul into it, actually, and those are the years you've seen me on TV, and uh, I love the work, man, like, I loved every moment of it, I love, you know, trying to understand the, the way narratives are told through the lens and the sensor of a camera or slash film, but there's no film today, right? At least 
on my reach professionally. <laughs> but here I am, back where I started. Started off with YouTube, and now I'm finally making videos. I've, I guess I could say that I've sort of had around three quarters of a lifetime of shooting videos. Every day of my life, I have shot at least one video. <laughs> you have no idea. Like right now, I guess I could say that I've been, I am suffering from information overload because I have so many hard drives in my room in a dry box, you know, like, I don't know how to manage, honestly, and I sort of have gotten, like, a, a huge ego that I had never, and I ended up never posting, because, like, as time went by, all the videos got nicer and nicer, and then when I get back to the old ones, I'm like, oh, man, this isn't nice enough, you know, but screw it, you know, the most important part about, honestly, about all these videos, about making movies and stuff is a story. A lot of people, or I guess I could speak for myself, like, would focus too much on specs, on how nice things are that, I mean, you just get stunted or something, you know? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, about time in my life that I'm here on YouTube, and uh, I have already opened the channel. I've, I've been posting videos once in a while, but they were just fun videos, but I guess now I could put up a show, right? Or put up like a gallery sort of thing. And uh, if you're a fan of mine, and I just wanted to say thanks to uh, all of you guys who have actually still been uh, following me and stuff, sending me messages, making comments, uh, when I made an announcement in social media like around I guess a week ago that I'll be on YouTube and I think some of you guys commented on my old videos and really I appreciate that if uh, there are many times where I'd, I'd, I'd feel like nah, I'm not gonna start this channel then uh, I'd, I'd see you guys like until today even though I haven't been to TV for quite a while like support me I really appreciate that so yeah mm. Let's see how this goes. I Every day of my life during quarantine, I would just shoot videos of everything. Uh, my computer is basically like a, a lab of video experiments, you know, testing out different colors, different lenses, different cameras, different, uh, different everything, you know, like AI and all that stuff. And since I do that, I guess I might as well just go on YouTube, right? So, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, um, hit the notification bell, make a comment, say hi to me, and uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for being here.